Good morning, everybody. It's all about the face this morning. Um, I get asked a lot, what's the difference between these two products, a BB cream and our touch liquid foundation? And so I am going to walk you through it. I'm actually gonna do half my face with BB cream and half my face with touch liquid foundation this week to show you guys what the difference is, to show you that they both give amazing coverage and just kind of tell you um, so that you will know what um, is the best fit for you, really. And we're gonna start with our amazing Touch Glorious Primer. You cannot live without this. This helps keep your makeup on all day. It fills in all of those fine lines. It prevents creasing. It shrinks your pores. It re it controls oil if you have oily skin, and it feels like silk. I mean, it's absolutely the most amazing feeling ever when you're putting it on. I just I love love love. So that is our glorious primer, and since it's all about the face, we're starting there today, and I am going to show you starting off what our Touch Liquid Foundation is all about. This stuff is amazing. It comes in like this little um, vial, and it has. I have primer on my hand. Um, it has a little dropper here, and I'm gonna show you how to use it. I'm gonna show you how to get a full coverage, and you can use it on its own without concealer to get a medium coverage. So this is more of a medium, medium to full coverage all on its own. Of course, I need the high coverage. Y'all know that I have my melasma. All about the base, about the base. Hi, Jules, how are you, cousin? Hope you're having a great day. So I'm gonna do half my face in Touch Liquid Foundation, half of my face in BB Flawless. Does anybody know what BB stands for? I will tell you, I will tell you. It stands for Beauty Balm, and it is a balm. It's a shea butter, it's a moisturizer, and we're gonna go into that in a minute. But um, I'm excited. So I'm going to start off, and I'm gonna use this little dropper here. You guys are gonna be amazed, and I'm gonna put Probably, well, to do my half half of my face, I need to put a little less. So I'm going to put three drops of that and a little tiny bit of concealer. Because I need um, full coverage, I need a little bit of concealer in my foundation. So I do that no matter what. And we're just going to do this half. And so I'm just going to, I'm going to do the dab. We're singing here, and I'm going to do the dab. And we are just going to start applying that with a liquid foundation brush. And we are going to blend. All right, and you guys are gonna see what amazing coverage. So let's talk about this Liquid Touch Foundation. It is very, very light. It does not feel like you have a heavy, thick foundation on, but yet it provides amazing coverage. Um, it has a pigmented time release, so it's gonna last you all day. There's some awesome texturing agents that are gonna refine and refinish the appearance, and it's not gonna make it look like it's such flat, um, you know, flat uh, foundation. It's gonna really give you some dimension. It's awesome for photography. My photographer always tells me, oh my gosh, that foundation's amazing. I don't have to touch you up at all. And there's also optical diffusers in it that help blur the skin's imperfections. So fine lines, wrinkles, um, acne scars, anything like that. So it really does a whole, whole lot. And then there's also a marine-based algae in the um, foundation itself that gives the skin a firmer, more youthful appearance. So um, people with extremely dry skin, first of all, they need to get on the royalty line. But second of all, People with um, really, really dry skin probably wouldn't be a great fit. Combination skin, oily skin, amazing fit because this is a liquid to powder foundation, okay? So it goes on wet, and you can see my, my brush is like powder now. Goes on wet and dries, um, and I don't have my mirror behind me, which I normally do, so we're really going to have to use the, the phone here tonight, <laughs> today and dries into a powder, powdery finish, okay? So look at the difference. Isn't that great? And you'll see it'll powder up here in a minute, and it won't, I mean, it's not even wet at all right now. I absolutely love, love this finish. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you um, what we call our BB Flawless, okay? And this is a wonderful product. It's really, really great for teens. It's amazing for people that have dry skin and they just can't find the right coverage. It's, I, I can't say enough about it. This is really, really great in the summer if you just wanna go to the lake. Um, you know, you just want something very, very light. I would say this is a light to medium um, finish all on its own. Um, it has shea butter, so it actually has moisturizing agents in it. Light to medium, and it's gonna be more where this is a, a liquid to powder, it's gonna be more of a dewy look. So you're gonna get more of a dewy look. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit on the foundation brush. I actually usually do this on my hand. 
but today we're just going to try it this way. And I'm going to add a little bit of concealer because I do need um, a higher coverage. So you can still get a high coverage with BB cream and it's just a totally different finish, but you're going to see I get a really wonderful coverage with it. All right, let's do this. And it's going to be more of a dewy finish. You can already kind of see that going on. But it's a really, really pretty finish. Some people love that dewy, you know, creamy look. Some people will want to use pressed powder over it. And you can totally do that too. This is just a really great everyday option. If you guys are here, tell me that you're here. Oh, good. I saw Jul Jules uh, is working. Good. Yay! Let me know if you guys have any questions at all about these two different options. I have been color matching like crazy. Spring is here and you ladies are ready for fresh foundation. That much is apparent by my inbox. <laughs> so I thought it was a good time to do this. Of course, you can always go right to my website at yourbeautyswag.com, but it's even better if you message me and I help you color match. So I still get a really, really nice coverage, but this is just a little bit more of a dewy, um, you know, creamy look. I mean, I can actually feel the difference between the two textures. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Jeanette. Hey, Erica. I didn't say hi to all you guys this morning. I got right to it. Hi, Kirby. Hi, Donna. Hi, Lucia. Hi, Jess. Oh, Justina. Justina. I'm so bad at saying names. Tell me if I'm saying that right, Justina. Mandy. Oh my gosh, girl. I haven't seen you in forever. Oh, thumbs up. That might mean I'm doing it right. Love that. Love that. Good morning, you guys. Well, it's almost not morning. In some of your worlds, it's probably not morning. My kids have minimum day today, so I'm like, I need to get this done. My friend Amy came over this morning, and we picked out some fun lip colors and got to catch up a little bit. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's almost 1140. Okay, so you can see what, I mean, I still have amazing coverage on both sides, but I have totally two different products, okay? So I'm gonna show you kind of just how to finish. I'm just gonna do the face today and just finish this up with a little bit of sculpting, a little bit of blush, and then some finishing powder. Um, and so I'm gonna use the sculpting trio. You can use, you don't have to use the sculpting trio. There is, we have some awesome ways to do contour. You can use, um, Concealer by itself you can use which we have some dark concealers you can use um, some of our mineral concealers to do this There's a lot of different options to do contouring um, I like to kind of do a little bit of a widow's peak up here just because makes me look like I don't have four heads and Four four heads <laughs> Let's do a little bit down here on the chin just creating a little bit of shadow You can also do a little bit here on the nose and then we're gonna add a little bit of highlight and I'm gonna use um my blending bud, my rose water, and I use a color called organza, or sometimes I use velour. So I'm gonna spray my bud, get that nice and wet with my rose water, and I'm gonna put a little bit of organza on my hand here, and then we're going in. So we're gonna grab a little bit of that. I love the texture that it makes my concealer. It's like this perfect, um, I don't know, blendable, gorgeous texture. I'm all about texture. And I've got my highlight going on. And you can see I can do this over both of those finishes, both the BB Flawless and the Liquid Touch. You know, you can still work with and they're both extremely easy to work over. And they just give you a really pretty finish. I'm a huge fan of both of these options and honestly people ask me all the time, which one do you like better? It depends on your skin type. It really does. If you are oily, you are definitely gonna wanna go liquid touch. If you are dry, you are definitely gonna wanna go BB cream. If you are a combination, it's all about texture for you and what you prefer. I wear them both, so I'm fans of both of them. So I'm gonna ask you those questions when it comes time to decide. All right, we're doing a little highlight here, a little highlight there, and we're up. Okay, what do I wanna wear for blush today, you guys? What are we going to do here? I think I'm going to wear this crazy color that makes everybody nuts. This is called Sophisticated because it's so bright in here. But when you put it on, it's so pretty. It's like a little bit of sunshine, I'm telling you. A little bit of sunshine. So I've been going a little bit back behind my apples um, because I've been luminizing so much lately because we have these new pretty luminizers that I feel like I like to put a little bit of luminizer in my apple and then I blend it into my blush. That's just kind of a technique that I've been doing lately. Um, I'm not sure what to call that, but it's working. 
<laughs> it is working. All right, now we're gonna take the Behold Finishing Powder and I'm gonna take my new, this is the new powder concealer brush. I can never even remember the name of it. Why can't I remember the name of it? And I'm gonna blend. And in this section, I'm gonna blend really, really good and then you're gonna see that I'm gonna pat. I'm gonna blend that contour up, the blush up into the hairline, contour up, and you can see that that's like a gorgeous sunset color when you blend it out. And then through your highlight, you're just gonna pat. All right, everywhere you highlighted, you're just gonna pat the um, finishing powder in. Right now, this Behold is only available in collections. It is so, so popular, um, but they are gonna get it in the regular catalog, so you can get it alone here pretty soon. Um, but it is going to be a bestseller, it's gonna be a hit. I am addicted, I need to get my hands on more. <laughs> I love it, I love the way it blends, I love the way it sets. Let's blend some of this contour up, up and at them. And I feel like it's such a great day to have a little sunshine on my cheeks because it's gorgeous outside. The sun is out, how's the sun where you guys are? So I'm patting through my highlight and then I'm kind of just buffing and blending my contour and my blush. Blush, uh, blend all that out. And this will set me up and I'm ready for my day. So can you guys even tell that I have two different products on? You really can't tell in the end. It's really about how you like to, over, it's overcast. Oh man, we have the sun out here. I'm, I'm wishing you some sunshine. Where are you, Lindsay? Hey Jess, hey Becca, hey Jeanette. I might have missed some of you guys. Okay, so there you have it. I'm blended, I have my day look. I'm ready to do my brows and my eyes and my lips. Um, but you can see what just an amazing finish I get with both of these products. I cannot say enough about them. They're both amazing. It really depends on what you're looking for. And if you're like me, you should just have them both because depending on the day, in the mood and all of that, that's what I, that's how I decide. I'm not loyal to either of them. <laughs> I love it. It's been so hot. Oh good, I know I'm so happy. Wait till you see, I just did the um, spray tan today on my legs. Wait until you guys see my before and after. If you are not in my VIP group and you are a customer, not a presenter, you need to tell me because I am going to do a video on how to get an amazing tan. This is the time of the year. Um, but I will share, I probably will share my, my one leg. I have one leg I did tanning spray on and one leg that I didn't. Whoa, let's just say mama needed some tan. <laughs> mama needed some tan. Oh, Santa Rosa, so you're close to the ocean. That's why, you're near the ocean. So it's it's still a little overcast, but the sun is really bright. It's really, really bright, and it's been so nice and warm, like literally shorts weather, shorts weather. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. It's hump day. It's hump day. Tonight, my hubby and I have something special. So I'm actually going to keep my makeup really basic this afternoon so that tonight I can come back in and go a little bit glam. We have a work, we have a little work dinner tonight. So maybe I'll share some pictures with that, um, of that with you guys. So I'm super excited. Hi, Mindy. Hi, Abby. Hey, Lori. How are you, beautiful girls? I just did half of my face in Touch Liquid and half of my face in BB Cream just to show the difference and I talked about the differences. So be sure to go back and finish watching the beginning because it gives a lot of great information. I didn't tell you guys that the BB Cream is full of shea butter. It's a dewy look. Um, it's moisturizing. Of course, both of these products are full of vitamins and minerals, which is absolutely amazing. Toxic free, carcinogen free. Um, have a dump day with your makeup and call me because honestly, unique products are full of amazingness and they care about what you're putting in, on your skin and in your body. And it's time, it's time ladies, it's time to change the cosmetic world. The, the, big, the big box stores don't care what's in your products. I'm, I'm, ha I'm happy to say that. They really don't. Even if it looks healthy, it's probably not. Um, so give me a call and get on some really healthy, amazing stuff. And that way you're passing down a legacy to your daughters and putting them into healthy products right away. And you're doing it too. So And you already do that, Lori, which I love. Hey, Stays, how are you, my friend? Dump day on hump day. I dare you. I absolutely dare you. All right, guys. Love you guys so much. Have have a wonderful rest of the week. Go out and love your family hard. Do what you love to do. Be who you are and own it. 
and just know that this world is going to be better for it. It's going to be better for it. If we all put our best foot forward, the world will show it. So I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, yay. I'm so glad, Lori. That's great news. That's so awesome. Love you guys. Bye.